Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. So in today's video, we have a little bit of everything from UFOs to mystery discoveries out in space and some really cool viewer submitted material. And so we will start with that. So the little short clip you just saw and heard, and if you didn't turn uh, your headphones up or your TV up, but what you just heard was a surveillance camera that captured yet another one of these mysterious unknown booms that rattled neighbors hoods across the west bank of New Orleans and he was not the only one he was just a viewer who happened to capture the loud rumbling via his security camera but it was actually picked up by news across New Orleans and just going through some local news websites here loud boom heard across New Orleans but authorities don't know what it was that's very odd quote unquote and this occurred on January 26th so just a few weeks back here we have another report from WDSU6 News. New Orleans residents rattled by mysterious boom. Talking about a loud boom overnight. People across New Orleans have been calling our newsroom, calling emergency personnel, even taking to social media about what appeared to be uh, some sort of blast. Some say they even felt it around the seventh ward and the ninth ward areas. Well, we have called the New Orleans Fire Department for you. We've called the police department who've dispatched crews to try and just check it out. But at this point, nobody knows where that sound was coming from. We will continue to investigate though to see if, you know, we can figure out where that mysterious boom Okay, and so yeah, uh, they have attempted to figure out what this was, with many New Orleans residents reporting hearing this massive loud sound across the city. The New Orleans police, again, said that they received several calls. Bell Chassis Naval Air Station said that no planes from that base were in the air last night at that time. The last plane was grounded before 8 p.m. The FAA also told the news outlet that it has no records of any unusual aviation activity in the area at that time. Also, none of the NORAD command centers detected anything in the New Orleans area that would have caused the sound. So this is like the many instances I've posted videos on in the past where people will have their houses shook, their concrete cracked up the middle, windows breaking, and sometimes it seems to come from above, other times deep underground, like there's some sort of massive underground high-speed railway system of some sort. NASA's McCowd Assembly Facility did not have any activity Tuesday night that would have caused a loud boom. The Stennis Space Center also did not have any activity. Nothing that would have caused this loud boom. Uh, at first, they thought, well, maybe it could have been caused by a meteorite. But as the day went on, the news reporting on this was updated to what you're seeing here, which was that, quote, loud boom in New Orleans was not caused by a meteor, NASA says. So what was it? So your typical non-response from seismologists, from nearby air bases, or anything of that nature, uh, the U.S. Coast Guard even received no reports of anything with the potential to cause such a large boom. And to further rule out, the sound was also not caused by an energy issue. A spokeswoman by the name of Lee Sabatini stated from the local energy provider. So yeah, guys, anyone in New Orleans in the past few weeks hear a sound as was seen in this video, and I'll play it again here real fast. If any of you heard something like that or have any more evidence, my contact email is down in the video description. And just a note here, this was even also picked up by national news, such as Newsweek. So this was definitely a big deal. So if you have any updates, let me know or put it down in the comments. Now, going on to another piece of viewer-submitted footage via email of what they could only describe and what I can only see hovering up in the night sky, caught on a cell phone camera, unfortunately, so it's at night, it's going to be more grainy, but as you will see, there is definitely a triangular object that has three lights, one on each end, and possibly another object hovering nearby. Now, it's a short video, but nonetheless, check this out. Damn it. 
Okay, so in the video, he passes his hand across the camera in order to change the exposure. That way he could try to pick up the object and we will slow the footage down. We'll add some contrast and color to it. But as you watch this triangular craft, there's a point where it looks as if the UFO flashes a white light and it happens twice. So you're seeing the close up version here and when he puts his hand past it, you can clearly see a solid structure that is connecting these three lights together. Here is the enhanced and much farther zoomed in version. Watch for the flashes. There's one and the other. That is creepy. And then there seems to be a light above it and then this other white light to the side of it. I don't know what that is, if that's a star or it's the moon, but there is definitely a triangular craft hovering up there in the night sky and I am convinced without a doubt. I mean, just look at it. And then towards the end of the video, as in past videos, when you have a solid triangular object with three lights, uh, as the object turns, the craft will be at such an angle that you will only be able to see one or two lights as it moves or spins or changes its angle. So this was sent over by Aaron Miller and uh, the subject was titled simply Triangles in the Sky over Grayson County, Kentucky in the town or city of Litchfield. And uh, yeah, he, he didn't put anything extra in the email. He just forwarded it to me, gave us the location and what we see in the footage. So tell me what you guys think down below. Amazing stuff. I have a ton of viewer submitted UFO footage to go through. I have 192,000 emails in my inbox as we speak. And I showed that on the Secure Team Instagram page, uh, which if you want to head over and follow, it's just another outlet where we can stay in touch should anything happen to the channel. So anyone over Kentucky see this, put it down below. Keep your cameras at the ready. That's for sure. Just eerie, eerie footage. We're seeing more and more of these triangles. I was just part of a documentary that goes into the backstory, the history, and the present phenomenon of these triangles or what are called TR3Bs. And again, that film is out for rent on all major streaming platforms. Secret Space UFOs Rise of the TR3B. I'll put the link to it down below if you haven't seen it yet. So next in uh, totally disconcerting, strange news, many of you may have seen this. Uh, I picked it up a couple of days ago when it first happened, but I just couldn't get the video up until today about it. But chilling footage has hit the web that shows an entire flock of blackbirds mysteriously dropping from the sky uh, on a Mexico street. It's been covered by all the national news media. And it goes to, once again, past videos I've done on this channel where we will have entire flocks of birds falling out of the sky for no apparent reason. Many of them will be found to have what look like injuries to them as if they had flown into something that was simply invisible that they could not see in the sky. Call it a cloaked UFO, uh, call it whatever you want, but it's almost as if they flew into something. And this video is crazy where you see thousands upon thousands of these birds just all at once dropping out of the sky some of them getting up to fly away, many of them not. It's, uh, it's sad footage. There's nothing, you know, really graphic about it. It's just, it's sad and it's very mysterious. They don't know what caused it. Again, it happened in Mexico. So they said it possibly could have been caused by fumes uh, from a next door neighbor. Um, they've had a couple of different, really strange possible reasons for this. But when I watch this footage and the way they've been reporting on it, uh, even to them and the locals there, they're like, we've never seen anything like this before. And I mean, just the way these birds fall, it's just really eerie. No idea what's going on. Mystery triangles in the sky. Thousands of birds falling out of the sky at once. And um, yeah, I'd like to hear your guys' opinion on this down below. Definitely uh, chilling footage. And so before we go today, guys, uh, I want to let you know, if you don't remember about two months back, I held a very special merch drop on SecureTeamTees.com where I released a limited edition glow-in-the-dark Secure Team Metal keychain, which at that time I only had a hundred of them, I believe, and they sold out within 15 minutes. They're beautifully made keychains. They have weight to them. They are polished and, and have this very glass-like reflective feel. Uh, they are colored in the blue and green logo. And then at night, after absorbing some light, just as you're seeing here with the flashlight, it glows 
and looks awesome. So I want to let you guys know that as I post this video, I'm going to make the listing live on secureteamtees.com. And this time we have 200 of them available to purchase limited edition. When they're gone, they're gone. So if you want your own glow in the dark gun metal gray keychain and you want to help support the channel, then as of you seeing this, they will be there again, only 200. It took about 10, 15 minutes for them to sell out the first time. So secure team Team Tees, that's T E E S dot com, secure team tees .com, where we sell all of our other merch. So, with that, guys, thank you for stopping by. If you have any footage or information, whether it be from birds dropping from the skies, flying triangles, or other UFOs, or mystery booms, be sure to send me an email. All of my contact info is down below. Stay tuned, hit that like button, please leave a comment so that YouTube will share more of my stuff, and I will see you all back in just a bit. Stay safe safe guys.